morning, Dave Kanicki with Farm Equipment Magazine here with this week's editor's comments. We barely had the June issue of Farm Equipment out of the door last week when I got a call from a dealer who was driving back from a meeting with one of his shortline suppliers. He said that he had had a meeting recently with the territory manager of his mainline supplier who told him that he believed that dealers are a necessary evil. Maybe that territory manager set it out of frustration, or maybe he just doesn't know any better. It doesn't matter. It's like a store owner saying, this would be a great job if it wasn't for the customers. I reference the June issue of Farm Equipment because, in addition to it being our product showcase issue in the biggest of the year, it also features a special report on how short-line-only dealers are succeeding without handling products from one of the mainline equipment manufacturers. Comments like, dealers are a necessary evil, only reinforce the need for equipment retailers to at least give a passing thought to what it may be like to get the letter that delivers the message that your contract has been canceled. And the word we're hearing from the field is that it's a message that more dealers are and will be getting. If you're thinking that it could happen to you, you don't have to feel like the Lone Ranger. Our best estimate is that there are nearly 1,000 shortline only dealers in the U.S. and Canada who are making it. And while we haven't conducted any surveys recently, the sense we get from the field is that the once dominant loyalty to certain farm equipment colors is diminishing as the dealership itself is playing a more important role in equipment selection. As the majors dump more dealers, they will create a vacuum in the market that will need to be filled. It may result from the longer distances between the dealership and the customer or a lack of competition in product choice and pricing that customers naturally seek. But it will require that an independent dealer fill that void, that niche, and offer what the major equipment makers can or won't. The best advice that the dealers interviewed for our special report is to not wait until you get the letter. Start looking around now for what could be. As George Clayson, author of The Richest Man in Babylon, wrote, Opportunity is a haughty goddess who wastes no time with those who are unprepared. We'll talk to you next week.